I'm here with Philip Rosedale of Second Life, and uh, we're at a journalism summit in Pullman, Washington. And um, I would like to just ask you a few questions about Second Life and where you're headed. I know that um, Second Life has its own monetary system in the form of Linden dollars. Have you seen with the recession, an actual recession within Second Life? What we saw was that um, in terms of new people and the hours people were spending coming into Second Life, Second Life started to grow quite a bit faster. Uh, at the end of last September. So we've seen month-to-month -month growth rates that have been higher than what we've historically seen. However, the amount of money that people are spending on a per-person basis dropped a little bit over the last few months by like four or five percent. So the total number of new people coming in has made you know the total amount of money being spent in Second Life continue to increase, but the, people have spent a little bit less when they go out, so to speak. And in speaking in U.S. dollars, how much money is actually swirling around within Second Life? Every day, there is about 1.2, 1.3 million U.S. dollars changing hands in transactions in Second Life. And the average size of a transaction in Second Life in U.S. dollars is about one dollar. So it's a, it's a relatively large number of small transactions. With your experience, what's the most unusual thing that you've seen happen well, in Second Life? And this guy turned himself into like a green alien, you know, an Area 51 alien, and he would get this little spaceship, and he would come and hover over the one place in the world where everybody had to start, and you'd see this beam come on, literally, and you'd get pulled up into the air, levitated <laughs> up uh, off the ground, into this guy's spaceship, and he'd take you and he'd drop you in like a nightclub somewhere like far away in Second Life, like with all these other people, and then he just speed off. He's an alien ambassador to yeah. Second Life. And that was all he did. Um, what are you looking forward to within the next probably six months to year? What is your vision? I hope that in the next year we can make it a lot easier to use. So you download Second Life and you get in there and it's, you know, it's a little bit more like the iPhone or it's a little bit more intuitive and enjoyable to get your feet wet and find your friends and you know, do something fun. And is there any integration right now that you guys are working on rather than, um, you know, like third-party apps that are going to integrate Second Life into something like a Facebook or Twitter? But frankly, Second Life is open enough now that there are other people doing that already. Right, they're there doing are, it for... Yeah, there are chat apps that there... I just saw there's an app on the iPhone now that can, that can chat into and out of Second Life. So I think a lot of that integration is going to get done uh, by the broader community mm -hmm. of people that are doing, you know, valuable things in Second Life. All right, thank you very much, and Great. I hope that we get to see new things on Second Life Great. soon. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Cool.